The Hind, huh? What a weird name. I wonder what the Hind means, anyway. Well, not much effort is given naming this weapon, clearly. So, the Hind. Yes, this Hind. A rather mediocre weapon. I'm gonna be blunt about this weapon shit. Gotta do bad weapons eventually. And it's that time. That's why this video is shorter than most. But I won't not just bash on the thing, at least try to point out its strengths. But, for the most part, this weapon's not gonna be worth it. No matter how well I talk it up if I wanted to. So, looking at it now, it got at least decent, decent damage. The accuracy is pretty good. The fart rate's rather high, and the critical chance is not so good, and neither is the status. But it has a really large magazine, and quick reload for having such a large magazine. And its trigger is burst. It's one of those weapons. Burst fire. Except, unlike the Burstin, the Burstin only has a three-shot burst. The Hind has a five-shot burst. Now, if you can name me any other weapon that has that, try me. So, when you get this, you get to the marketplace. Now, let's see. Oh, not bad. Oh... Oh, do you see the problem? How about now? Yeah, that... That's horseshit. That's a load. So, for an unusually expensive weapon, you probably think, Oh, it doesn't handle that bad. There certainly are worse weapons. But, to be honest, mm, there's all, certainly not a lot of better weapons, too. The five-shot five burst is way too long. It's not a quick five burst. It takes almost a second and a half to do a whole five bursts, and for gun physics, that's a long time. It's also shit in close quarters because of this. It's an awkward weapon to wield. I'm not the best shot, so maybe, uh, maybe I can't use this gun to its full potential, but I don't think everyone's a good shot. And even those who are a good shot on top of that probably won't choose a different weapon. But yes, the five-shot burst is awkward to wield. The damage, well, it's okay. It's not amazing. The status will never kick uh, kick in, or not really often enough, and the critical, never rely on it because it's only 5%. And you have no chance of upgrading that. But at least it has a quick reload. And at least it has a lot of ammo in reserve. You'll almost never run out of ammo for this, I think. The person's better at keeping your ammo, but this weapon's good at it too. So for a little 30 build and test, you notice that I didn't put much effort into this, so I just jacked up its slash to get my point across how, how awful this weapon is. Now I could have put something else on, but I might just squeeze my heavy caliber on since it's still not upgraded. To put the slash to 122. Now, I didn't really put anything else on this because it doesn't really need anything unless I get my point across. So I won't be attacking chargers, they're too quick, so I'll go against a bunch of leapers. And put them around level 40. Probably the best area. Go too high and won't be able to kill them at all. But regardless, as we see, it is not really killing them. Because this weapon is putting 120 slash, and these guys don't have any armor. And as we know, slash weapons are best against enemies with no armor at all. So it's rather mediocre. Not really getting the job done very well. If this was like any other slash weapon, I'll be at least cutting through the crowd, but this weapon's just not doing it. In fact, I just saw a whole bunch of them just dive off the cliff right there. Yep, they didn't want to be part of this video at all. They're like, nope, I don't want my face seen here. But more or less, this weapon is mediocre. I won't say it's horrible, but as you can see, it's just mediocre. That's why I don't have to put it through any formas or catalyst. It's a waste. Alright, next. The pros and cons of this weapon. Now, there's gonna be a lot more cons and pros this time. But anyway, on the pro side, we've got a rather accurate weapon. It is accurate. Also, it has good bullet economy, since it does burst fire for you. And the reload is relatively quick for its large magazine. On the con side, however, we've got mediocre damage. No critical chance, pretty much. Very low uh, status chance. And the weapon is too damn expensive to build. Six neurodes. Man, it's expensive. Screw that. 
screw that in a hand basket. No. For a future build for this weapon? Uh, who would? But anyway, you'll need something like Fang Fuselage for more slash damage. Uh, go ahead and slap an element on there, though I don't think it'll do you much good other than the base damage of it. Because you'll not often hit that status chance. Other than that, increase the ammo capacity, you know, magazine-wise, since it has a large magazine as it is. You can benefit from that. Like a warp magazine, that's it. And more ammo in reserve, I guess, but you know, probably don't need that. To be honest, I'm pulling grass and strings for this one. <laughs> There's no real good way to build this thing. Avoid it. Just avoid it. Judgment? Of course, it's no. No, 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 no. This has been Warframe Showcase. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Want to see a particular weapon here on Showcase? Leave a comment down below. It might be the next weapon I choose. Thanks for watching Warframe Showcase again, and see you next time.